This week on Pity Sticky Tour, we are jetting all the way over to the Chatham Islands for a two episode special on some of the characters who call these isolated islands home. Oh, I want to land one this time. <laughs> First up, I'm heading out with a local known as Big Jace. We go pig, wicker, and ram hunting and gather watercress on his family's huge farmland. Good thing I'm coming in hungry. Oh, it's a bit old school. She's vintage, eh? She'll be right, she'll be right. Taking my way to, to the Chathams. He tino whakahira hira te nei haerenga. O tira wiki e rua e haere ake nei kei ngā mautere o rekohu ahau. These islands are 750 k's west of New Zealand's South Island. That's so isolated, they've got their own time zone. It's gone. Kia ora, Jace. Pretty. All things? good? Yeah, good, good. Kia ora. I'm Big Jace with third generation farmers. I do contract fencing around the island and a bit of hunting. A wee bit of fishing, but yeah, that sort of keeps me out of trouble. It's beautiful weather. Beautiful weather. We're putting it on for you today. <laughs> nice and tropical, obviously. Yeah. I see you got your fast gears on. I thought we were going to be chasing something. Now, hopefully Poe might do that. We'll see if we can find a few wickers out in the paddock, but you and me won't be running. Oh, I like that kind of style of catching things. Anyway. Yeah, no, we'll let Poe do all the hard mahi, and you and me will sit in the truck and yarn, eh? He manu iti te weka e kore e taia te rere. Ki Aotearoa, he manu Māori te weka kua whakahaumarutia e te ture. E kore e taia te patu, te hopu, te hoko atu rā nei. He oi, he kore roa no ki re kohu nei. Yeah, we'll jump in and we'll go for a wee cruise just up here. Birds like the rushes, so we'll go for a wee cruise, let the dog off and see what we can find, eh? Sounds good to me. All right, let's do it. Big Jason's is a bit of a character, pretty much like a gentle giant, really. So whose who's land is this, yours? Yep, this is family land. Oh, cool. It's about 300 hectares. The old birds, they like the Russia area and stuff like that there, and gorse. Gorse? The gorse, yeah, the dreaded gorse. Hopefully Poe brings them out of the gorse. Yeah, yeah well, I'll send you in if it's uh, too tough. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best way to cook uh, weka? I like putting them in the slow cooker. Just sitting them in there all day with a bit of uh, soy and honey. Ooh. What's the texture like? It tastes anything like chicken or...? Uh, I put a stupid question to uh, Big Jace. He gave me a straight up answer. It's going to sound stupid, but it tastes like wicker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might have tasted a little bit like chicken or something, but no. I'll let you be the judge of that, eh? Wicker tastes like wicker. Oh, that's all I got for you, eh? <laughs> Righto. Should we let go of Poe? Yeah, let Poe go and we'll see what happens. Poe is a five-year-old black Labrador, and she's been trained to chase Wicca from a young age. Ready? Poe is supposedly meant to be the man at catching uh, Wicca. Surely you can jump off. Today, though, she's having a little trouble Poe. getting started. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go, Poe? Come on, Poe. I think somebody's a little camera shy. Nailed it, Jace. She's a bit like me when it starts off at work. A bit hard to get moving. <laughs> so she'll go, she'll scoot in there and we'll just leave her to it. I can already tell I'm gonna enjoy the style of hunting. Poe is straight into it. Hard at Mahi sniffing at those wicker. But to be honest, she's sort of the only one. It's pretty easy actually. So have you tried wicker before? No, I haven't actually. Poe obviously does most of the work. I don't have to do anything, he's just cruise and chat. Is it different to mud and birds or similar? On a good day, Poe's been known to catch up to 25 birds in a single hunt. We won't get that many today though. The weaker season is only just getting started, so not many birds are out and about. It's not like you can chase weaker by foot, or neither of us could anyway. We just sit there and chat until Poe finds a scent and chases after the wicker. Hurry up, uh. go find us some wicker. That's pretty straightforward, really. There must be some floating around here somewhere. How long have you been on the island for? Yeah, on and off my whole life. Did my schooling in a wee town called Darfield, just out of Christchurch. Yep. 
Onorau noa te whānui o te taupori tāngata o ngā mautere nei. E toru ngā kura tuatahi, toko toru noiho ngā tauira o tētahi. Kaore he kura tuarua, nō reira me haere ngā taiohi ki Aotearoa. Kūraina ai. More often than not, despite spending time away from home in places like mainland New Zealand, these small and isolated islands eventually call them home. I did a stint in Hawke's Bay for a while, went to Aussie for a bit, and then come home and haven't left. I ended up getting a job with the Department of Conservation. Bit of all sorts, but mainly fencing. I was there for five or six years, and then I've branched out and doing my own thing now. But Dock was where I seen most of the island. You know, you get to go to places that you'd never get to otherwise. The Chathams is rugged. It's small, but bigger than you think. Unfortunately for us, it's big enough that Poe is having difficulty finding any weaker hiding places. Seeing as she is struggling, I thought I'd hop out and lend a hand. So yeah, I went for a bit of a hikoi. I thought I'd go have a nosy and see what it was about. But Poe and I don't get very far before we see something that has us bolting. A race back to the truck. Pig's just over there. Thinking that big Jace might have had like a uh, knife or a gun. It's pigs. Yeah, there's a couple of pigs just down there. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> but big Jace obviously didn't have anything, and I didn't have my knife on me, so. They're just sitting there, dude. Still me. Oh, sneak on over. I don't know what I was going to do if I had a knife, to be honest. I'd try and be John Rambo, maybe. <laughs> I swear they were just here. I told Big Jason he thought I was lying. They were just over there. This hunt is turning into a wild, wicked chase because nothing is going our way. Luckily, there's a bit of evidence I'm not seeing things. Well, they're around. You yeah, must put a fresh sign around, eh? Mm. We might have to go home and get some pig dogs and come back and chase them. On our way out, hopefully, Poe might sniff out a couple. We want a couple for the pot, eh? At least. One for you and one for me, eh? Yeah, this sounds like a good plan. Oh, we'll get on home, eh? Sweet as, that's us. Choice one. I was getting quite excited, actually. Yeah, me too, and I didn't even see them. <laughs> Poe's a wicker dog, not a pig dog, so it's unsurprising she didn't quite know what to do in this situation. Yeah, I don't know whether Poe knows what a pig is. <laughs> she might be a bit frightened of them. But to make up for spooking the pigs, Poe soon locks onto a scent. See, just hard out on the trail now. As soon as Poe got onto the scent, I uh, started circling around a little shrub and basically went in. And we didn't know exactly what was going to happen. Might have to help him flush it out. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Too easy. Me, Poe. Me, Poe. Poe comes up with uh, a wicker in her mouth. Well, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Good girl. Let you have the honours, say, pretty. You go and pick it up. And we usually just feel in there to see how fat they are. I reckon that one will be right for the pot, you know. Yeah. Shot, Poe. Can you go and find some more now, please? Did you, after you scored a try, you usually had to have a breather too, didn't you? Yeah, that's why you take your time. Yeah. Tell the goal kick, take your time, guys. <laughs> Come on, Poe. Only one wicker, but I suppose I can't complain. Got the treats. Did the mahi and got the treats. Guess this isn't too bad, cuz. Coming up. Big Jess has got a sneaky wee patch hidden out the back there. Just can't tell anyone about this one, though. Just show me where it is so I can sneak over here later on. <laughs> it's a pretty good patch, actually. No mai hooky mai king on Motere or Rekuru. I'm on Chatham Island, the largest of the island group and we've just wrapped up a weka hunt with Big Jace and his dog, Poe. We'll snag one for the pot. Yeah. But we're about to go and get something else to go with it. Big Jace has got a sneaky wee patch hidden out the back there. There hasn't been an eventful day. We've caught one. Yeah, Poe's just not playing the game today. All the birds aren't out and about, I don't know. I've actually seen a patch of uh, watercress over there. You said there's another... Yeah, there's a bigger patch just over the hill here. We might just call in and get a wee feed, eh? Keep the greens up. Come on, Poe. Oh, I'm going to have to work on my Steve Hansen imitations. Come here, Cock. <laughs> mean. Well, we've got our wicker. Now we just need something to go with it. I think it's time we pay a visit to the sneaky patch Jace is hiding somewhere around here. 
Oh, he's got this special crop of uh, watercress. A couple of little patches just down in here, in between the pungas. But um, but I've got a better spot, but it's, you can't tell anyone. It's secret. OK. I thought that the first part that I had seen was pretty hearty, pretty mean, and then he's like, oh, no, I've got a better spot than this. And I was like, hey, how can it be any better than this? Just show me where it is so I can sneak over here later on. <laughs> Help a brother out. We went there and, yeah, no, it was probably... <laughs> it's fair to say it was a pretty good spot. Foo! That's enough watercress to feed 20 rugby teams. What are those for? I'll show you. For some reason, Jace keeps a stack of bread trays nearby. So he said to me that the bread trays were basically to uh, stop you from sinking. And I thought he was all yarns. I'll give you this. And you just wander on out, and I'll chuck another one. And I'll just wait here and make sure you're all right from the sideline. <laughs> so you just tiptoe out there and start... Uh, Tiptoe's not my... Uh, no, nah, it's not point. my forte either. I'm going to put most of my weight in it. I thought I was actually going to fall through it, <laughs> to be fair. Ooh. I don't know about this. That one looks a bit better to stand on. You'll be safe as they hold me up. Watercress is a leafy green veg, often found near river beds or swampy areas like this. It's widely considered a superfood, as it's packed with vitamins and minerals. Oh, we're pretty lucky here, eh? Just remember, Pity, if there's any grass tangled up in it, that goes on your plate, eh? <laughs> that should be enough, eh? That's us. Me. Mean. That's us. A few stalky bits of Floyd, a bit of grass for him. Right, we'll gap it on out of here, eh? Yo. Hey, come on. Floyd's another character we'll be meeting properly next week. But for now, Jace reckons we've earned a quick beer with him and the boys down at the local rugby club. The Chatham Rugby Club. Yeah, no, we have a lot of fun, eh? Enjoy our rugby and then a beer with the boys afterwards. We're going on a tour to Nelson, Queenstown, Christchurch and I've sort of taken on a role of organising, getting things going, so it should be a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> There's clearly a great community spirit here on the Chathams. There's also a much higher proportion of Māori living here compared to the mainland, almost 60%. Because I'm related to Miriyama Kama. But everyone's a bit of everything, really, so it's kind of like one big whānau. Yeah, it's all pretty friendly here. You know, we all wave out to each other on the road. It's a cruisy wee place to live, actually. I'm sure it is, Jace, but my mind is still on those pigs. It's been a good tease spotting those pigs before. Hopefully it's just going to be as good as that uh, tomorrow, so... Tomorrow's here, and Jace is heading back to the kennels. Not for Poe, though. Jace also has four pig dogs, who are more used to dealing with big game. So while we're on our weaker hunt, Pity's spied a couple of pigs down below. So we'll pick up a few pig dogs and we'll head out and go and have a look for them. And this time, I'm driving. So that down there is that reserve? Yep. It cuts back across to where we've seen those pigs yesterday. Yep. Well, the area is pretty cool, actually. Obviously, they've got a lot of land. If we go up here, we'll get a good look at the Hokiti oh, Marae. Oh, that's a good spot for Marae. It's a mean little pausing, eh? So you've seen a couple of pigs yesterday, Pity, so we'll come down and we'll have a sticky beak around, eh? So it's a good plan. See what the dogs pick up. I totally forgot that it was going to be thick in there, so obviously I've got the wrong attire. She should be all right, don't we? Yep, no, nah, you'll be all good. <laughs> I'll let you lead the way. <laughs> come on, dogs, let's do something. Come on! I've been pig hunting a few times before, and I know that keeping tabs on your dogs is important. The baler dogs have bolted already, so it's a good thing Jace has fitted each with a GPS collar to track where they're running. So we're just watching the dogs here, just sort of heading out that way. So we'll sort of give them five or ten and just see what happens. But they're pretty close to me. Yeah, they're not too far, not yet. But you're looking in pretty good nick, so... My rugby days are finished. Probably have one too many pies after i finish. finished. You're leaner than me, so... <laughs> <laughs> We went for a hike into the native bush there. We thought that they'll give it a bit of a nudge. Saw there was a lot of sign around. Just down there. Just Plenty of sign, but no pigs. 
went all the way basically to the lagoon. So we're either wet feet, unknown, or back the way we came. I don't mind getting wet feet. Pigs just aren't on the cards for us today. But I can't be too disappointed. Part and parcel of hunting. That's the nature of pig hunting. You don't catch the 200 pounder every time you go out. Despite the rugged weather and the sneaky pig, I've loved the opportunity to explore some of the Chatham landscape. All right, Big Jace. Thanks for uh, taking me on <laughs> your uh, property, bro, and uh, trying to latch onto a pig. No luck today, but tomorrow, are we going to go and have a look for a wild ram tomorrow? Wild ram? Chatham on on wild ram. It's going to be something new then. Yep, no, it'll be a bit of fun. <laughs> Hopefully a bit better than tonight. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> they must have real bolted after they seen you yesterday. I'm not that smelly, surely. Oh, I don't know. Well, oh, hey, you're standing next to yeah, me, so you'll be all right. Can't be too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Head on back to the house then? Yep, sounds good. So no wild pigs on the menu tonight. But with wild ram promised, there's no way I'm leaving Big Chase just yet. But he's got a good little spot that he's going to take me out to, and hopefully uh, he leads me in the right direction. So we're going to head away to shoot a wild ram. We're going to head down to the southern end of the island to my grandfather's property, Odawi. This part of the island's just magic. I love coming down here. Oh, Big Jace. It's good to see that the weather's cleared up a bit. Whereabouts are we, bro? Oh, we're down the southern end of the island. We're at Odawi, so pretty much as far as we can go by vehicle. So what, are we walking after this? Yeah, we're walking. <laughs> it's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to be going to slay if we get the chance? Uh, we're going to go and look for a wild ram. We'll probably wander just down here, and then we'll cut across through the bush. You got a good shot? No, I'm terrible. I'm hoping you're a good shot. It makes two of us. Yeah. We'll bluff our way through it, I'm sure. <laughs> right, shall we do it, eh? Yeah, sounds good. Cool. While well, sheep farming makes up a significant portion of the economy here on the Chathams, there's also a small population of feral sheep that have been living on the southwest corner of the island for nearly a hundred years. He reckons he knows a good spot, not too far down where some rams tend to hang around. He prefers shooting rams to use because the horns make for good trophies. Right, we're just going to cruise just through here and then we'll get the binos out and just have a little look. They should be down over the hill here, but we'll just scope it out, eh? Sounds like a good plan, bro. You're the, you're the pro here. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> We reckon we've spotted some on the ridge below, so we load our guns very quietly. As we started wandering down there, I started getting a bit worried because I just couldn't see anything. But we managed to sight some, which was choice. We could see they were there, but we couldn't quite get a good spot to take a shot from. So we had to sort of sneak down a bit further. Well, we try to be sneaky, <laughs> Jason and I, just to get a better position. If we're going to get a good shot off, we cannot be noticed by the flock. My ninja skills aren't that flash, so. Heard a lot of noise happening, and we're like, oh, I think they'll get it, bro. We ended up spooking them. I'm under a lot of pressure now to hit around before they disappear over the ridge. I'm in the beautiful Chatham Islands, where the rain's cleared up, and I'm out on a hunt for wild ram with my mate, Big Jace. We've just spotted a flock of sheep, but unfortunately, we've been too loud and the sheep are bolting. I need to think quick if I'm going to make this shot. We spotted them going around the ridge. Mean shot, pity. Well, when I first heard the shot go off, I didn't see anything drop, so I was thinking, oh, not very good, but then it started rolling down the hill and it was, yeah, it was a pretty good shot. Mean! Shot pity. It was actually quite a mob there. <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, man. That's the first, shooting them while they're moving. <laughs> Did it like a pro. I was 
was surprised myself that I was able to shoot it and, and drop it straight away, so pretty exciting actually being able to shoot an animal that was moving. Oh, mean bow. Too easy. How are we going to get way down there, though? I'm sure we've got a couple of uh, mules that can carry it out. I reckon. Right, good man. Shot, Chase. It worked out better than the uh, pig hunting. It sure did. After the fizzle with the pig hunt, <laughs> snagging a wild ram like we did was, yeah, was a bit of relief, actually. As is often the case with long-range rifle hunting, the trickiest part is actually getting down to the beast and carrying it out. Well, the trek down to the bottom wasn't too bad. The trek down the track was terrible. I hate walking down hills. Oh, pal, man. I thought we might have lost them there when we spooked them up top. Well, I heard them take off. It was on the run, too. It was a mean shot. What kind of ram is this, bro? Uh, these are Saxon Merinos. They were bought here in early 1840s. There was 50 of them, I think, taken to South East Island for farming. And just over the years, they've been brought back and they just run wild down here. Merino, that's a uh, warm clothing? Yeah, I reckon we skin this out. Look at it, it's beautiful. You better wear that home on the plane. <laughs> oh, we'll just chuck it on your back and you can do all the hard mahi from there. Just remember, I'm retired now, so. Yeah, that's from footy, not, not from carrying rams out. <laughs> Too easy. It was basically on me to carry it out. You're making it look easy. I don't think Jace was going to try and help me. It's all right, I'll carry the gun. <laughs> I haven't done any weight training in a while, but luckily we don't have to lug this big boy back up the hill. Just a couple of hundred metres to a clearing where we can get a vehicle in to pick it up. Yeah, it was a quick hunt, which is good, actually. We got there, found them, bang, bang, done. Maybe. 40 kgs. Carrying the uh, animal out is basically part and parcel of hunting. I don't know how Jace was planning on cooking it. It'll be interesting to see what he comes up with. I've had a bloody good time with Jace so far. But I've come all this way. I think it's about time I have a feed with some of the other locals around here. There's a bit of a feast that they have every Sunday in Kaingaro. The locals put it on for visitors that you know, want to have a hearty feed, so we're going to find out what's, uh, what's on the menu. And I tell you what, the menu is looking hearty indeed. There's crayfish, power, blue cod, smoked marlin or the kaimana that makes the Chatham Islands famous. There's even a bit of Jace's weka. It tastes a bit like weka. I was actually gonna go and ask for more, but I thought I'd better not. Thank you. No worries, bro. It was a nice little vibe. Just sort of everyone just sitting down, having a chin wag and eating some good kai, which is cool. The Chathams are small but bigger than you think. There's certainly some characters down here. All ranges, I suppose you'd say. What, me? <laughs> the dog. Oh, OK. <laughs> when I first got to the Chathams, I wasn't sure what to expect. What kind of people would choose to live on an island in the middle of nowhere, with no cell phone reception and cold weather year round? But now I'm getting a sense of the friendly, small community spirit that has been present in so many of the places and people that I've visited in this series. I'm on the Chatham Island Council, a trustee on the school board. The Chatham Rugby Club, most of us are weekend warriors. We think we're all blacks, but once we hit the first 10 minutes, she's a slippery slope to the bottom, eh? Huffing and puffing and all those good things. But yeah, no, we have a lot of fun, eh? The good thing about living in a small community, you know, everyone's willing to help you out if you need a hand with something. To me, that's what it's all about. All in all, it's a good old place to live. Next time on Pretty Sticky Tour, I catch up with my old mate Floyd, who shows me some of the marine life on display around the island. Later on, we cook up all the kaya court while I was here. <laughs> nice! <laughs>